Hey everyone, Vince here. Welcome to my Bitcoin Bay review. Bitcoin Bay is promising real Bitcoin for us to play it. So on today's video, I'm going to test it out and let you know my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoy. Please hit like if you did. Let's kick this off. So this is what Bitcoin Bay looks like when you first launch it up. As you can see straight off the bat, it has a very, very nice design. I love when apps actually put some effort into their art. At the top of the screen, you'll notice that there's a life system. There is also a coin system and a premium currency of gems. On top of that, you'll notice there's a ticket balance and a Bitcoin balance. At the bottom of the screen, you also find the skills area and the shop area. So the skills area kind of acts like permanent unlocks to help you along your earning journey on Bitcoin Bay. Bay. At least that's what I can gather and experience. The in-game shop area on Bitcoin Bay is an area where you can spend your real money. So I don't know if this area is going to be for everyone, but essentially you run out of lives on here and if you want to earn faster, you can purchase lives again. That's what I gather from that. You can see the top row of purchases goes all the way up to $7.49 and the bottom row goes all the way up to $76. If you don't wish to purchase anything, you can simply watch an ad by the way. If you want to eliminate ads altogether, you can spend $3 and you can also purchase coins at the bottom of the screen as well with your gems. But if you're like me, you're not here to spend money, you're here to actually try and generate some. So let me show you how Bitcoin Bay allows you to earn Satoshis or Bitcoin. There is two game modes available here, Relax an adventure. Relax unlocks at level 21 while you can play adventure instantly. Now this is what the mission area aka the earning area looks like on Bitcoin Bay. You can see here there's actually quite a lot of levels and it keeps on scrolling up by the way like it literally just keeps on going and going. Very cool stuff but once you see how you actually earn your cryptocurrency on Bitcoin Bay you might be wondering if this is worth your time or not because once I actually play the levels I discovered there's a little bit more to just earning than playing a level and receiving some currency, which I'll show you now. Tapping on the chapters button at the bottom of the screen reveals that there are 250 levels in this chapter alone. And you'll notice that each level has their own star-based rating system. Of course, you want to try and get three stars, obviously, on each level. So as you can see, I'm on level 16 right now. And above me there, there's a free gem button I can press. Tapping on that instantly plays an advertisement, but let's see how many gems I get in return. All right, so I've just got some gems and now I'm sitting on on 12. Let's start level 16 now. Tapping on a level will bring up the objectives for it. Apparently I need to collect these three items and I have 26 shots. Okay, and this is what the level actually looks like. You can see here, very simple design. At the top of the screen, you have the items you have left. You have your score and star rating. You obviously have the little bubbles that you need to pop. At the bottom of the screen, you have your bubbles and how many are left. And then to the right of that, you have like a super bubble that can pop anything from what I've seen. The more you play, the more of a super bubble you can generate. You can see that my little cat is holding a seahorse. You'll notice here that I have a whole bunch of these little fishies available to hit first. So that's what I'll go for. Tapping on the switch button will allow me to shoot the fish. Alrighty, so now the cat's loaded up. All you need to do is simply aim where you want the little bubble to go. Fire it off and there you go. That's really all you have to do in regards to earning on Bitcoin Bay. Just try and get through the levels the best you can with the highest score to achieve your three stars. So let me get through this level here and show you what happens once you finish it. I actually wasn't able to beat the level in the first try there. So now this is what happens when you fail. You can get five extra bubbles if you spend your gems. It costs six gems for five bubbles. Or you simply quit and lose a life. I'm not going to spend the premium currency, especially that much, on one single level. Not this early anyway, so I'm going to take a life loss. I tap retry and now I have to watch an app. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen as well, there's different items that you can actually use. Hopefully I shouldn't need them this early into the game. Game. All right, just finished the level. Looks like I got a three star rating as well, which is excellent. Now you can see the catch jumping with joy. I got 10 tickets, 12 of the in-game currency of coins, and now I can watch an advertisement as well for an extra reward. Let's do that and see what happens. Watching that ad generated me seven extra coins. So in the grand scheme of things, watching that advertisement really didn't add too much to my balance. Now, you also notice back on the level screen here, the free gem button has become available again. And at the top of the screen, I now have 10 of the tickets. You're probably wondering at this point though, what exactly does the ticket system do? Well, if you're to use Bitcoin Bay, you need to understand this critical feature. So 
Let me just explain it to you now. Tapping on the tickets button brings you to the Bitcoin prize draw area. You can see that there's a jackpot area where you can win 138 of the Satoshis. You can see how many tickets you've entered into the giveaway, which mine is 10 at the moment. You can see the total amount of tickets that are entered into the draw that you're going up against, the size of the overall prize pool of the giveaway, and the players entered into the prize pool, plus the time remaining until the giveaway has been launched. So essentially, every single hour on Bitcoin Bay, they have this Satoshi giveaway. And the more tickets that you generate by playing their games, the more higher chance you win to hopefully earn more Satoshis. There's now 3,007 tickets into the draw because another player joined. And I don't know how unfair this is for people that don't really play it all the time, but I still have 27 minutes left to earn my Satoshis. Now, I already know what happens next, but I'm gonna do it for the review sake so you guys can experience it firsthand. Let me try and get as many tickets as I can in 30 minutes or so. I'm going to try and unlock level 21 so I can unlock the relax mode. Alrighty everyone, so now the countdown is entering its final seconds. Let's see what happens. I only have 40 tickets by the way entered into this giveaway. But you can see so many other people have entered in now. Alright, I now have 5 Satoshi. Which in the grand scheme of things is really nothing at all by the way. <laughs> Just an FYI, I don't even think that's 1 cent. So that's pretty lame. And you'll notice here that there's a little countdown under your claim prizes area. And that's because you have a limited time frame to collect your prizes. So you can see here I've done 2 prizes draws. Today I earned four Satoshis from that giveaway, but then I did earn one a couple of days ago as well. And before that I have 19 Satoshi. So now let me go and claim that reward. To withdraw your Satoshi, you will need to install the application Wallet of Satoshi. This is what it looks like on the Google Play Store, by the way. So now that I have it installed, obviously, I can tap Claim. At the bottom of the screen, it now asks me, do I want to claim my five Satoshis? I say Claim. And now it's going to send it to Wallet of Satoshi through Bitcoin Bank. So pretty cool stuff how they've connected these two applications together. Now you can see my Wallet of Satoshi balance of 19 Satoshi. It's saying I have five Satoshi that's going to be transferred in. And I can now tap the Receive button at the bottom of the screen. And it's as simple as that guys. It now states that I've generated 5 extra Satoshi from Thunder Games Prize. And now my total balance is 24 Satoshi, about 1 cent worth of USD. So there you have it. Now that I've done those levels, if you check out the skills area now, you can see here I can finally upgrade my abilities. And the thing is guys, this is what the coins are really good for. So you remember, you have to separate the in-game currency with the ticket based system. I feel like the ticket-based system is quite limiting for people that don't really play these games often. I'm sure there's people that play a whole bunch of this every day, but for the casual user, you're kind of limited when it comes to your earning capability. But, but at least you can try and make the levels easier with the in-game item area. Like, I can see upgrading your lives would be a great tool, or of course getting extra bubbles. Just some advice there. Alright, so final verdict now on Bitcoin Bay. While it is a legitimate money-making application, it's definitely not going to be for everyone out there. You do need to collect tickets to generate revenue, which can be a bummer if you're going up against hundreds of other people and you don't have that many tickets. But either way, another application to add to the legit money-making list. Check out my channel for hundreds of other money-making apps. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow.